to Mr. Otter Studio. Today we are going to be going over 12 different colored pencil techniques. This was a requested video. This is a very beginning tutorial. If you're just starting to work with colored pencils, this will give you some great tips on how to use them effectively. For this tutorial, we are just going to be using our colored pencils and a pencil. So these are the supplies that you'll need. You'll need some paper, and I'm just using printer paper. You could use your sketchbook paper. Whatever paper you have around will work for this. And you need colored pencils. I'm using Prismacolor colored pencils. I've had this set for about four years and I really like using these ones. They seem to blend better than other kinds that I've used. But again, use whatever kind you have. You will need a lighter color and a darker color. I'm using yellow chartreuse and I'm also using true blue. And then you will need white, gray, and black. So you need five different colored pencils and then a normal pencil. This is just a normal number two test taking pencil. Optional, you could also use a ruler if you want to draw out a grid of 12 boxes. Nice and neat, go for it. All right, let's get started. Since colored pencil takes a long time to cover in an area, we're going to be making smaller boxes. And how we're going to do this is we're going to draw a rectangle in the middle of our paper. And again, you could turn your paper this way. You don't have to draw the boxes in like this. You could make these circles, whatever you want. You just need 12 different areas to fill in with colored pencil. And I'm just going to be making my boxes about one inch by one inch. First, draw a rectangle, leaving about a one inch border around it. To divide this into three parts, and I want each part to be about the same. And then we're going to divide each of these strips into four pieces. So we're going to draw a line right down the middle, and then divide each of these sides in half. Then inside each one of these squares, I'm going to draw a box. And these will be the boxes that we fill in with our colored pencil techniques. Okay, and once you have those boxes, you can erase the grid if you want to. All right, once you've drawn your 12 squares on your paper, however you want to, they don't have to be squares, just 12 areas to fill in, grab your dark color, and in this square, we're going to use light pressure, and in this square, we're going to use heavy pressure. Pressure means how hard we're pressing into the paper with our colored pencil. So light pressure, we are not going to be pressing very hard. Heavy pressure, we're going to be pushing really hard. In this square right here, we're going to do what is called a grade eight. That's where we're going to be pressing hard on this side and slowly applying less pressure with our hand. So pressing really hard on this side. And then as we move across the square, just slowly, slowly pressing lighter. So it goes from dark to light. In this square, we're going to do the same technique, but I'm going to show you how to use your eraser to create a really nice smooth blend. So this is called burnishing. So do this exact same thing we did in that square, but do it right here. So we're going to be pressing hard and then slowly lessening the pressure over here. Make sure the pencil that you use has an eraser. Just use your eraser and then you can start in the light area if you want or in the dark area and you blend it. So you can either go this way it creates a nice smooth blend. So we're basically just rubbing it to get it smooth. So burnishing kind of rubs the color pencil to get a smoother transition instead of this one. In this one, we're going to be doing hatching and then cross hatching. And this is a technique that's used a lot in colored pencils. So hatching is where we're just using lines. So we can go from the side, we can go up and down. But you can see if I put more lines down here, it's going to make it darker, but we're just using lines. Cross hatching is where our lines cross each other. So just think you're creating X's. Hatching, cross hatching. In this square, we're going to be doing layers. So you can layer colored pencils, and that also creates a nice effect. What we're going to do first is we're going to create a stripe across the top and then a stripe on the side. So on this half, we're gonna fill it with this blue. So your darker color, use to cover the top half of this square, and then your lighter color, use it to cover the left half of the square. So from here over. I'm getting this really nice green in there. So that is the layering effect. In this square, we're gonna do a gradient, but we're going to use two different colors. And I like to use the lighter color over the darker color. It seems to work better. So start from the left side, apply heavy pressure, and as you move to the right, just loosen up. This is a light pressure gradient because under it, I wanna do one using heavy pressure so you can see the difference. So I'm not pressing too hard over here, and then I'm just Getting, letting it get lighter. So in this one, we're gonna do this same technique, except when I apply the lighter color over the top, I'm going to be pushing really hard. Don't press as hard as you're moving to the right. Take your lighter color over the top and press really hard. So it's going to blend these together. Now in these different squares, we're going to be using white, gray, black. In this first square, we're gonna do the same thing we did in these ones. So these are all grade eights. So this is a grade eight. 
plus white. This is a grade eight plus gray. And this is a grade eight plus black. So in these ones, we're gonna do the exact same technique we did in this gradated square. So you press harder on the left and then move to the right and lessen the pressure. Then you take your white colored pencil, starting from the right moving to the left, you start to blend it together. The white creates really nice blends. Now let's do the same thing using our gray. So we're pressing harder on the left and then loosening up the pressure as we move to the right. Then take your gray and press pretty hard all the way across the color. And now with black, we're going to be doing the opposite. So we're going to put the black on first and then we're going to put the blue over the top. So I'm using my lighter colors to blend. Those are just some simple color blending techniques. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use marker, ink, and alcohol with colored pencils to create different effects. You can come into some of these squares and add color. I could use my black to come into the hatching one. Let's go over the different techniques that we used. We filled this square using light pressure. We filled this square using heavy pressure, pushing really hard with our colored pencil. You create this effect going dark to light by pressing really hard and then easing off the pressure as you move into the lighter area. This square, we use the burnishing effect where we used our eraser to blend it together. In this square, we used lines and created hatching. In this square, we did cross hatching where we crossed our lines to create a different effect. In this square, we used two different colors and we layered them. In this square we also applied dark to light pressure and created a grade 8 but we added a lighter color over the top using light pressure. This is the exact same technique using heavy pressure. So a grade 8 using heavy pressure and in these three squares we did grade 8s. In this square we did a grade 8 plus white. In this square a grade 8 plus gray and in this square a grade 8 plus black. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. We will see you around on YouTube.